The Blue Devils get past Gonzaga 66 to 52. They're headed to the Final Four for the 16th time, while GU sees their season come to a close. Sports Director Keith Oso and Will Sherritt took this one in courtside from Houston, so we toss it down to the guys who have more on GU's tournament exit. Welcome back to Houston. Our continuing coverage, the Gonzaga Bulldogs in the NCAA tournament. And Keith, this one, the final score really not indicative of how close the game was. Gonzaga went toe-to-toe -to -toe with Duke for most of the contest, but then the final four to six minutes, Duke really taken over. Yeah, for 35 minutes, this one looked like it could go either way. Just a two-point game with about four minutes remaining, and then it kind of got one-sided after that. A couple of really uh, open missed shots by Gonzaga. They feel like those shots combined with Duke making plays was the difference in tonight's game. They just made some plays down the stretch, and uh, we had some turnovers, and, and you know, didn't really even get a shot up with the turnovers. So, um, yeah, they just made some plays, hit some shots, got to the foul line, made some uh, easy free throws. So um, that, that's what it came down to. We had some good looks. We just weren't able to convert, and then uh, defensively, they were able to just put a lot of pressure on us, driving us, and they got some uh, some foul calls. Yeah, they just um, they made some shots, and we kind of went on a little mini scoring drought. And uh, I thought our defense was pretty good, and we made it tough on them. They made some tough shots, and they really got to the line pretty well. And and it was just tough because we we were right there, and we kind of let it slip. So a very disappointing end to a fantastic season. The greatest wins total in the history of Gonzaga. That goes away now with a loss in the Elite Eight to Duke. Also the careers of Kevin Pangos, Byron Wesley, Gary Bell Jr. They go with this loss as well. So a lot of disappointment, not just for this season, but for careers of great seniors as well. As you said, still a great year getting to the Elite Eight. Only the second time in school history and plenty of talent coming back next year. If Kyle Wiltshire, Domas Sabonis, all, all the guys going down the list. If they come back, this could be a team that could be on the precipice once again of getting back to the Elite Eight. For Keith Oso, I'm Will Sherr with the Gonzaga Bulldogs in Houston for KXOI4 Sports.